Did you know? Underpants! Yes, folks, today I'm thinking about pants. The first and last garment of the day, and probably the oldest form of clothing on the planet. Underpants probably started out as loincloths worn in warmer climates by our earliest ancestors. Undoubtedly, these started out as fairly simple swatches of leather, but we know from the archaeological record that one of the first things humanity did as they spread across the world was create increasingly complex and elegant clothing. It is therefore reasonable to assume that so-called loincloths didn't stay simple for long. The ancient Romans wore underpants called subliga cullum. These are kind of like bikini bottoms and were worn by both women and men. This example was discovered during excavations in London, or Roman Londinium. It has been suggested that wearing underpants may have been reserved for slaves, labourers and athletes, and that refined folk did not wear any undergarments beneath their clothing. A particular form of Japanese underpants, called fundoshi, is mentioned as early as the 8th century AD. This underwear has three main styles, but a crucial feature is that excess cloth is used as a form of apron. They went out of fashion following the Second World War, when boxers and briefs became more readily available. Today, fundoshi are primarily worn during festivals. In medieval Europe, underpants developed a much looser fit, kind of like baggy shorts tied at the waist and just below the knees. But changing fashions meant a change in underwear, particularly amongst the wealthy, who started to wear increasingly tight-fitting trousers. Underpants shrunk to cover the necessities, so they wouldn't show through men's leggings. And of course... Yes, <laughs> this was a time when the infamous codpiece was used, so men could more easily go to the loo. And thus, over the centuries, underwear has continued to subtly change according to the requirements of fashion and also the environment. For example, if it's cold, long johns are very useful. But, Mr. Soup, I hear you cry, what is your favourite fact about underpants from all of human history? Well, my favourite archaeological underpants come from arguably the world's most famous archaeological discovery. I speak, of course of Howard Carter's discovery of the boy king Tutankhamun. Famously, Tutankhamun's tomb was filled with treasures of intrinsic and also cultural value. These weren't just buried treasures, though. These artefacts were there for the king to make use of in the afterlife, and I simply love the fact that he was buried with around 145 pairs of underpants. That said... If I was faced by the god Anubis, weighing my heart when I died, to decide whether I went on to the afterlife, or whether I was gobbled up by Amut, I would probably require a change of underwear. So there you have it. A brief... Get it? Brief? <laughs> Never mind. Um, a brief look at underpants in history. Now, yesterday I said that I was feeling pants, and this is the reason for this video. But there is one more thing about underpants that always brings a smile to my face. And that is that all you have to do is wear your underpants on the outside of your trousers and you become an instant superhero. Well, sort of. <laughs>